What's up everyone, Hovac and Ellen here. Hope you guys are doing well tonight or today or whatever time it is in your country. <laughs> you want to tell them what we're doing? Yeah, so today we decided to finally have a studio tour. We're going to be showing some of the guitars, some of the basses. We're going to be showing how to record stuff. Not exactly how to record, but oh. uh, what we use to record. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do it. <laughs> let's get into it. Awkward silence. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the studio, everyone. That's that's my daughter, Ellen. Let's and, start from there. <laughs> and, uh, and let's start from the right side. What do we have here? This is basically our little storage area. We have some pens here, um, some supplies. Uh, okay, boring stuff. Boring stuff. <laughs> yeah. Some yeah. some of the boxes that I uh, decided to keep from from the lights and the lens. Here I have two of my guitars on the wall. That's my one and only my owners. That's a very custom one. Not not the recent one not the one that i just got but that's basically uh second of two that were made and i'm gonna talk about that guitar later that's a very very special guitar it's fretless and i'm gonna talk about that too but not in this video okay okay so okay. we have what do we have here um, we have my we cassettes have i love cassettes my reel to reel tapes that's the Robert Johnson cassette set. That's the pickup that we're gonna change very soon. We have a and, table here. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's our table. But that. be careful, be careful. It, it's gonna hit. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> okay. Don't play it. Goes, it. it goes all the way like up. Yeah, it goes very high. That's my uh, cassette tape machine. That's one of my real to real machines. That's Mr. Wooten on the wall. <laughs> He's watching us. He's watching us all the time. Anything we do here. Um, books, uh, and more real to reels and my what guitar. else? Uh, vinyls, lots of vinyls. We have my small. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> Ellen's, it's so Ellen's small, new you didn't base. See it. It's so small you didn't see it. My second camera gear. Uh, all the, everything is mounted on this pole. And that's my audio recording gear with the microphone, the boom, and the mic. That's the recording device. Oh. Ellen's basses. Over here is my corner. This is this. It's slowly this. becoming your, your studio. <laughs> <laughs> it, this, this small corner is mainly mine because these are yours, but yes. Over here, these are my basses, my main bass, um, my bass, um, That's my the bass music bass. man, yeah. the, uh, the Sterling, music man. that's this the bite, is, this is, uh, that's Mike's, Aronson, Aronson. That's, that's Mark's bass, Mark, the, uh, Mark Schultz is bass, that Gil? Is that Gil? it's Guild, it's 1979, it's my age, I, I'm 1979. <laughs> Over here? Over here, this is my Mark bass, my pedals, Swarovski uh, pedal, uh, a Getty B pedal, mm -hmm. another Swarovski pedal, um, two Mark bass pedals. That's the Mark bass, Mark bass uh, vintage preamp. Again, What's another that? video is coming for this bad boy. What's that? uh that's uh, that's a new that's actually new uh that and this this is the new pedal board that ellen got from the company named donner and we're gonna do a separate video for for these pedals they are very cool and very affordable that's the looper pedal uh we'll talk about these pedals uh more we have a microphone here and that's the that's actually my favorite microphone that i use for bass i have tried pretty much all the standards and i have them uh the beta 52 the sm7b so is it my microphone now <laughs> uh, uh, you, you can say that and that's the coolest cable see oh. that's the snapjack cable it, it, didn't it has break. magnets don't worry it, it didn't, it didn't break, break. It, okay l listen there you go 
it didn't break. <laughs> Look, let me Same on the other end. Can I? Wait. See? Let me just show you guys something really quick. May I? Of course. Okay, so watch it. It's a completely normal cable. Mm -hmm. And if I just... I broke it. Now, let me just... There you go. Oh. Magically. <laughs> <laughs> Some magic there. Oh, wait. Over here. We That's have the beautiful Hofner. And over here, that. Well, thing. let's uh, finish on this side. Uh, that's my slider, motorized slider that I use for some shots. These are my vinyls, some of my vinyls, not all of them. That's a tambourine. That's a tambourine. <laughs> Can I play it? Some pedals over here. That's my second pedal board, not not fully set up, but. And I also have more set more pedals over there behind the cabinet. Cabinet? Uh, yeah, it, it's called cabinet. <laughs> that's my orange. That's the Mesa Mark V. A boogie. A boogie. Mesa Boogie Mark V. That's the queen of this room, basically. <laughs> that's the 1965 uh, Marshall JTM 45 uh, tremolo. I believe that's the one that Eric Clapton uh used not not this exact one but his uh, back then when he was using the jtm 45 it was a tremolo model um and if i tell you how much i paid for it you're gonna hate me so i'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a secret <laughs> <laughs> that's the olsen amp beautiful sounding amp for cleans and dirty sounds and it is just beautiful only 18 watts but it's very loud and sounds amazing i thought that said olsen olsen that's my main pedal board, uh, company from uh, from the company called Schmidt Array. There you go. And I did all the wiring and the, actually the video video of the of making the, this pedal board is on my personal YouTube channel. I'll I'll, I'll put the link Can I down below. <laughs> I want you know, it. No, you don't want it. You don't want that chocolate. Why? <laughs> it has two of my favorite things: chocolate and music. <laughs> Why wouldn't I want to eat it? Because you're gonna leave me without power. That's not the chocolate you want to eat. Uh, that's my beautiful Tiac R2R machine. It's working. Everything is working here. Beautiful. It's yeah, it's a beautiful machine. Sounds beautiful. really good. It's a beautiful bicycle. Evans Hoffner again. That's my uh, Friedman BE100 Deluxe. That's the DV Mark uh, Greg Howie model. Just got it from DVI. Uh, DV Mark. <laughs> DVI. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Uh, DV Mark is the company name. Oh. Over here we have. Um... Our games, we play games here. Mm -hmm. um, you play games here? Yes. Good to know. Um, we play a game called Pro Tools because we use the tools to make the notes where they are. Wow. And then we also use this to watch YouTube and put YouTube videos. <laughs> 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 At least that's what I do. <laughs> okay, let's, let's show this console. Let's okay. start from the preamp section. <laughs> So these are the preamps I use most of the time. Avidis MA5 and MD7. These are by far my favorite preamps. I had uh, I had many uh, preamps, Millennia, uh, Universal Audio. Uh, I, I just sold them and, and bought this. These are amazing, trust me. Uh, the, again, the EQs from Avidis Audio. That's the Manly box box. And the interface is Apollo X16, 16, 16 inputs and outputs. Uh, here, that's my two notes torpedo. That's what I use uh, as my cabinet simulator. So basically that's connected directly to the back of the amp. That cable goes uh, and, and connects to the torpedo. And it sounds phenomenal. That's the uh fatso empirical labs compressor <laughs> i call it awesomeizer because it does a uh, lot of good stuff 
that's the Summit Audio uh, tube equalizer. That's the Summit, Summit Audio uh, LA-2A style compressor, TLA-100A. What we have here, the amazing Sansamp from Tech21, uh, LA-610 from Universal Audio, and uh, LA-2A, legendary. And I use Genelex for the past uh, 10 years they just sound phenomenal and I'm, I'm so used to them that I uh, it, it works fine not not just fine it works really great so I'm not really looking to replace them with anything else another another reel to reel machine I have three in total these are pink yeah these are the reels that I got from uh, from the guy um i forgot his name but his company's name is rido's reels if you check on ebay he makes all kinds of designs but th this is this is what i decided to go with the pink floyd dark side of the moon theme so what do we have here oh that's the camera gear my lenses my drone uh gopros batteries and my other two uh my own as guitars and that's the new one it's still in the box still gonna make the video because i the reason i'm not opening it is because i'm dying to open it but uh the reason i'm still not opening it is because i want to make the video uh real you know uh with all the reaction my reaction and you know everything has to be real so I'm, I'm, I'm still holding it <laughs> over here you also have the ellen who helps you record something with these this ellen yes okay that's my ellen that's my girl <laughs> i'm the one that you record if i wasn't here you wouldn't record it. absolutely that's my treasure <laughs> <laughs> we have uh my keyboards here the moog prodigy and that's the arturio uh midi uh, midi keyboard that's my twin reverb 65 reissue fender uh, yeah it's a fender and these are my telecasters this the this is the uh 60 68 and that this one actually i'm building from scratch you can okay this this is this is a cool project it's dusty sorry about that I remember. so i bought i bought the neck you remember what I remember when you built that. Yeah? Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't draw on the on the big table because of that. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna shoot videos for all the stuff I'm gonna do, so it's gonna be fun. It, but this is the project I'm I'm working on. It, it's gonna be fun. Reverse headstock. So And this is the this is another storage where I keep the cases and my other sound recording uh, gear. Oh, that's you again. Me again. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically it, right? Mm. The sound panels. I I, I built uh, all the sound panels myself. Nothing. Yeah. Um, uh, the cloud. Um, another thing um, that we need to show. Mm -hmm. Actually, a lot of things. Okay. So. First of all, these are uh, your guitars. I already told them. Okay, okay. Over here, those are lights. Those are the lights? Yeah, those are my favorite uh, strats, the guitars. I think that's the 60s reissue, if I'm not mistaken. And the other one is my David Gilmore uh, strat. It's a reverse headstock, but I replaced a lot of things. The pick guard, the pickups, and I made it looks like David Gilmore model. Over here, we actually have pigments. Oh, yeah, Pigginos. of course. It was in front of you this whole time. That's exactly why I have the <laughs> Yeah. But it needs batteries. Well, I have the pig nose because I have the 68 Telecaster. And if you remember the crossroads, that's exactly what uh yeah. the boy was using with them yeah with 
Steve Vai or Van Halen? No, that was Steve Vai, right? Okay. I keep mixing them up because they look alike. <laughs> they don't look alike, but they are both legends. I, imag I imagine them alike. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I imagine them alike. Okay. For some reason. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I use the Mac Pro for the computer. And I, I hope I didn't forget anything else. Um, what about these? I told them, yeah, those are the Genelex. 8040A, that's the model. What about these lights? Those the lights those. are Aperture 300D. Uh, there you go. Aperture 300D Mark II. Those are the lights. What about, um, what about that? What about what? That. Yeah, I, I already told them. Um, yeah, we spoke about everything, so... About that. <laughs> you built that. You built that room. Okay, let's say say your bye and bye. Bye everyone and okay, I'm gonna be on the camera so you're gonna shoot me. <laughs> Thank you everyone. That's that's the studio we uh, shoot our videos, uh, work on the songs, practice. So hope hopefully you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bye. <laughs>